Now, the Lagos state government has held a stakeholders meeting to intimate the residents and members of the public on the planned demolition and reclamation of the collapsed Ikoyi building, formerly owned by the late Femi Oshibono, who was also a victim of the tragedy that occurred in November last year. The representatives of the government were led by the Commissioner for Special Duties and Intergovernmental Relations, Engineer Tayo Martins, and the Commissioners for Physical Planning and Urban Development, Dr. Idris Salako. Our correspondent Paul George reports. Gathered here in this hall for the stakeholders' meeting on the planned demolition and reclamation of the building site at 42 Girard Road, Ikoi, Lagos, are engineers, stakeholders, some members of the public, and the media. Engineer Martin started by assuring the residents of their safety during the course of the demolition of the remaining three uncompleted buildings at the site, revealing that the state government has approved the demolition of the buildings. The import of the stakeholders meeting is to give the residents and also the occupants within the proximity of the collapsed building site to give them some level of confidence, comfort, psychologically and emotionally to the effect that we are going to demolish the remaining structures, but it will be done in a safe manner. There was a general consensus, which was that they seem to agree with us that it is safe. And we can't do anything else without engaging them first. The Commissioner of Physical and Urban Development, Dr. Salako, who spoke alongside Dr. Oluwafemi Oke Osointulu, noted the concerns of the residents and reassured them that the demolition will be carried out professionally. The concerns that were raised by, especially by the residents, are genuine. And we have a short press conference on the site on Thursday. And the site will be officially handed over to the consultants, kept talking to developers and to build rights use the right professionals in their construction works, use the right materials to get their approvals and let's allow LAPCA to do to grant authorization and do all the state certification. We are going to ensure safety of life and properties. All the key stakeholders that are important in managing emergency in Lagos State. Mr. Governor, Mr. Babajide Olushola Songolu have taken clear ownership of it. And believe me, we will do our best. On his part, the vice chairman of the Nigerian Society of Engineers, Victoria Island Branch, engineer Christian Okori, and joined the state government to always carry the people along in order to rebuild confidence in them. The Lagos State government has taken the right step, okay, by having a forum like this. And most importantly, the fact that this kind of incidences have been endemic in Lagos State, particularly the island of Lagos, and probably this is not going to be the last, very likely. Carry people along so that people will know, long into your program, into your activity, what exactly is happening. They can be carried along to the level of their expertise, to the level of your knowledge. We are not saying come and bring in-depth technical structural engineering jargon to the general public, no. The residents who are already apprehensive are earnestly waiting to see whether or not the state government would keep to its words. Paul George Plus TV News. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.